Hello, my name is Steve M. Nash and I'm the editor of selfhelpcollective.com. Today I want to talk to you about a recipe for success. And I look down because I have the words of Stephen Gilman that I wish to share with you. Just a small extract of what he has to say. A success recipe he wrote about a little while ago. And I want to share his thoughts and then I want to share my thoughts about recipe for success. And I would like you to share your recipe for success because you are successful even though you may not realise it. You have had so many successes in your life already and I'd love for you to share your recipe for success. But first here's what Stephen Gilman has to say. Are you ready for a simple recipe for success. The ingredients include motivation, knowledge, advice from those who have yeah, advice from those who have succeeded, and imitation of successful thoughts and actions. These are the proportions: one part knowledge, one part self-awareness, a pinch of success advice, ten parts emulation of success. Mix your knowledge and self-awareness into your emulation of the thoughts and behaviours of the successful. Sprinkle lightly with advice from those who have succeeded before. Heat this mix with your own motivation. Cook for several months or decades until done. And then repeat the process. Steve Gilman runs selfimprovementnow.com and maybe you'd like to visit his website because I love his recipe for success, don't you? I love, actually, the fact that people well, are seeking a recipe for success, believe that there is a recipe for success, that someone else's recipe for success will be their recipe for success. It's an interesting notion, a recipe for success. It, it's sort of, I guess it's, as Stephen says, these are the steps, these are the ingredients, mix them together and there you go, there's your success. And it may be like that, but I, but I think success is... It comes from acknowledging achievements so far. It comes from being okay with failure, seeing as failure as a form of feedback to a form of encouragement to... to tr there. I don't know where I got these teeth. A form of encouragement to try harder or do something slightly different. So my recipe for success is similar to Stephen's. It's, it's trust yourself. Seek the knowledge, the wisdom, the attitude, the actions, the behaviours of others. Seek out those that have seemed to be successful. Trust yourself to put into place those, that knowledge, those actions of others that fit well with you. Create your own recipe, in short. Create your own recipe. This is your life, your life, and you make the rules. I'm looking into the light again. It's so, it's peculiar that I'm thinking that the light is where the camera is. I, I apologise. It's, it's so big. I, I'll have to sh show you what the light looks like. It's big, and it's drawing my eye. I'm back here. This is your life. You make the rules. You make the recipes. Look what others have done. But define your own success and do it your way. Make your own rules. That is my recipe for success. And that is how I want my life to be led. And, I, and I, I've been running, I've been working for myself for over 10 years since uh, 2000, the year 2000, when I quit as a, an IT contractor, contract computer programmer, and I started building websites for other people then for myself, making money from advertising and other forms of income. And I've been doing that since 2000. Because this is what I wanted. This is what 
I didn't want to commute to work. I didn't want to be told what to do, even though it sounded stupid, I still had to do it. I didn't want unnecessary and ever decreasing time deadlines to be imposed on me by other people. I wanted to, I wanted autonomy. I wanted to test my wits. And I have tested my wits and I've actually found myself wanting in some areas, which has been hard to take. So my success has been limited, not because I shouldn't have chosen this path, but because I haven't really readily taken the feedback and, I, and I've stayed away from doing things I didn't want to do. And sometimes when you work for others, you, you can't do that. And I guess that's the, the, one of the failings of, of working for yourself may well be that you cherry pick the activities, that you do the things that you're strong on, in my case, writing. You don't do the things you're weak on. But, but this is it's part of the learning process. And, and, but I still believe that this is my success recipe, work for myself, stretch myself, work on areas that I value and I believe give value. So I'm putting most of my time into this self-help website at the moment, selfhelpcollective.com. And I'm not too concerned about where the money comes from. It will come. It is coming. It comes in many sources and I'm, I, I'm grateful for whenever it comes. And this is another part of success that I think is very important. Gratitude for the, for the success you already have, have achieved. And you are a successful. You really are. And if you, th if you think, no, I'm not. That's why I'm on this page. Just take a little time out now to, to, to think of the things that you have achieved, exams you've passed, friendships you've made, jobs you've succeeded in getting, relationships you've succeeded in being in, fun you've had, people you've made, whose lives you've made better. The successes are plenty. That's what you should focus on. That's another part of recipe for success. Focus on the good things. But define your own success, that's what I say. And I thank Stephen Gilman for sharing his success recipe. His website is selfimprovementnow.com. My website is selfhelpcollective.com. All that is left for me to say in this short video on recipe for success is tell me your recipe for success. I'd love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.